For those who don't know, although I don't know who wouldn't know, this is the incomparable Foxy Tan. Stop. Oh, for, for folks who maybe don't know a lot about the fox or need to know more, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Foxy Tan. I am known as the boss of burlesque. Uh, I have been performing as Foxy Tan since 1997 and uh, have been doing burlesque specifically since 2004. So my favorite thing is to know people's origin stories. I want to know how Foxy Tan started. Well, all right. So it's 1996. Uh, I am spending approximately four nights a week at the gay 90s watching the La Femme Show Lounge. And one of my best friends was uh, Camille Collins, the, one of the drag queens there. So I got in for free and drank a lot for free. So I was there and I was like, that that looks like a lot of fun and really easy. I've been trying to do theater, like legitimate theater. I've been working at Theater de la Jeune Lune and The Cricket and doing a bunch of really bad touring children's theater. And I was like, that looks like something that would actually make me money. And so we put together a show called Foxy Tan's Superior Lounge, and it was like a fully done theatrical production. So I was the first female, female impersonator on stage at the 90s. That's huge. Well, it wasn't at the time. It was confusing. <laughs> <laughs> was this always burlesque, or did it become something we different? Or? We didn't know what we were doing was burlesque. <laughs> Right. We did, I mean, we didn't go down to pasties or anything like that. I mean, there were, well, we just didn't. But it was, the acts were always built like uh, uh, the structure of a burlesque act. There was always a reveal. It was always about presenting femininity. Um, it was show girly. Does that make, it was, everything was always about being over the top. I was more into camp, mm -hmm. like campy sort of uh, performance. So that's where it started out. You know, and then I just realized that, like, oh, burlesque, uh, that's, like, drag for women. So I, I can do that. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun when I found burlesque. I was like, ah, that's where I can go. Right. And that's then. And now we're talking to somebody who's competed at Beehoff. One. Yes. At Beehoff, too. Uh, Foxy Tan, the Wham Bam Thank You Mams, which comprised me. Uh, Redbone and Maya Funzalo. Uh, the three of us won... Uh, best troupe in 06, as well as most Vegas. I used uh, the amateur model all the way from the beginning because the same thing was happening at the 90s. There was no space for the little baby drag queens mm -hmm. to like go even learn their craft. You had to know somebody, you already had to have your acts together, you know, in order to even get in at the townhouse, and you definitely weren't getting on the 90s stage. So we were about providing a space. And also, this is pre-YouTube, so you had to have somebody, like, there teaching you how to do your makeup or where to even get your makeup. And, and a lot of these queens were, it was also dangerous to, like, go shopping. They, they couldn't just go anywhere and, and learn this. So it was a safe space for them to come and dress and drag and actually get on stage. And, and the prize was $25 that we handed to them on stage, $1 at a time, so they would learn how to take tips. And then we did another one, which was at Station 4 in downtown St. Paul. And that was the Twin Titties Amateur Burlesque Hour. You're involved in the Nudie Newbie Show now. Yep. Want to talk a little bit about your involvement in it now? Oh, the Nudie Newbie Show Worldwide Reveal. That Worldwide. one is Worldwide, <laughs> baby! Oh, my God. It's like, it's wonderful because it's like, the dream is to franchise the Nudie Newbie show like everywhere. So mm -hmm. there would be a space in every major market for newbies to go and like, and it's low pressure. It's not about, you know, you don't have to compete to compete. You can just come and actually just work your shit out on stage. You know, so few people get to do that because it's like you're rehearsing in front of a big mirror. That's one thing, but it's, it's a whole different deal in front of people. And I want to keep providing that space to people who want it. And there are other people that also want to provide that space. So 
it's trying to find the right places for it to go. Like, I would love for it to be in Chicago. I would love for it to be in Seattle. You know, where there are major markets with major schools and pumping out new babies. It'd be great. Just And now we can't go anywhere or do anything. Mm -hmm. And the entire burlesque community has moved online. So the idea of Nudie Newbies worldwide is that we're all stuck inside. We have basically moved the entire burlesque community online because that's the only place where we can actually perform. And I think that it's time that we can provide a platform and amplification for newer performers to actually, you know, provide them a, a space and a forum and maybe use our good names to hopefully get it out there to a little bit, you know, more people. So and do a show. Do a show. Do a show. Thinking of these babies that are out there watching you, what do you want to tell them? Just fucking do it. There's no reason for you not to, so just click the apply button. We want to see the best of the best and the best of the worst. <laughs>